leader here we could speak to. Let's make this a block. We are not going to... to Mr. Alfred, you know you, 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 I want to pass. Give me my... I will pass below your arm. I'll tell you, Peter. The group arrived at the Daily Monitor premises at around 1.15 p.m. under the leadership of Kalum East MP Joseph Seung. They wanted to ascertain whether the premises were still under lock and key. They were denied access to the premises by Kampala Metropolitan Police Commander Andrew Felix Kawesi, who denied knowledge of the court order, forcing them to leave the premises. Yes, how are you? The one now presiding over crimes. Take me to court. Yes. I've just received another document. It was removed by the same court that granted it to them. Yeah, if they are here illegal as we are finding out, we are going to arrest them. We are part also custodian of the law. The questions. But you come no and you are going to this but you are because away. you are not court bailiffs. But you should so be not a court bailiff. After a brief confrontation, Kawes reorganized his forces and ordered the MPs away since they were not court bailiffs to effect court orders. Are you court bailiffs? We are members of parliament. Leave the court in. Police cordoned off 8th Street industrial area on which the daily monitor is located, barring both vehicles and pedestrians from passing by. Earlier in the day, daily monitor management met over 200 staff members from the paper, Dembe and KFM radio stations to appraise them of the situation. The meeting was held in a parking yard opposite the premises in full view of the police at guard. The company legal team revealed that all efforts to serve the police hierarchy with the court order stopping the search had failed to bear any fruits. Our external lawyers have been attempting to serve this order on the police since yesterday when they received it they've been from office to office to office they're being tossed up and down everybody who's available has declined to receive it our legal department is the only unit mandated to receive uh, legal documents like a court order but uh, they have not yet received it when we receive it we shall study it uh, and uh, see what exactly is talking about and uh, we shall appropriately uh, react to it. The workers were advised to keep calm as all means were being pursued to have the premises opened. Whatever triggered this, uh, this, uh, this, this action really did not warrant that. That's the position we have and that's the position we continue to take uh, and we will be able uh, at whatever forum uh, to justify it. The police continued with its siege of the Namave best red paper publications. By press time, the management was contemplating securing a court order to force the police to vacate the premises. Yeah, we are planning as well to, to, to pursue um, a legal option because uh, we also feel that the police has overstepped their search warrant. Government later in the day called upon the police to hasten their work and reopen the occupied premises. Since uh, this incident happened, uh, that the police will expedite uh, the investigations so that uh, these, the, the, the publications can uh, go on with their work. The Information and National Guidance Minister, Mero Karolo Krut, advised the management of the besieged media houses to cooperate with police in providing the required information for ease of work. Carol urged that media practitioners were misusing the freedom of expression granted by the government. Names withheld without request cannot cross some of our borders. They can't. People actually in those other countries, they say no, we shall not have these publications here. It's just an indicator that democracy is deteriorating in this country. Um, Condemnation of the attacks have continued to flow in. The European Union has lashed out at government over stifling freedom of the press. In a statement read by the EU Information Officer Simon Cassiate, the EU Head of Delegation in Uganda, Roberto Ridolf, observed that a free, independent and vibrant press is essential to a democratic society. The EU delegation is deeply concerned about the respect of freedom of expression and freedom of the press. A free independent and vibrant press is essential to a democratic society. No, we are here.
The Uganda Consumer Protection Awareness Association has also criticized the police actions, urging they are unconstitutional and violate consumers' rights to choice. Hey, everybody has a, a choice. You cannot impose somebody to only to listen or to read what is in your interest. Everybody has a right as a consumer to choose what to read and not to read. The latest fallout between the Uganda police and the media fraternity stems from a controversial letter written by the Under Fire Coordinator of Intelligence Services, General David Sejusa, on the now infamous Mohos project. <laughs> the police are searching for evidence relating to the letter. Salma Namwanje, Katagwa George, Namayo Moses, Zahara Namuli, NBS Television.